what's up guys, Adam here with a demo of the brand new Mac App Store. Now to get the Mac App Store, you will need to have a Mac on Snow Leopard version 10.6.6 or higher. This update actually came out today. Uh, so if you don't already have it, go ahead and click the Apple logo on the top left. Click Software Update right there and, you know, just update Snow Leopard. This is basically how the simple interface will be like. This is very similar to the App Store section on iTunes, as you guys can see right here. But of course, this is Mac applications and not iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad applications. You do have your new and noteworthy category, your top paid, what's hot, top free, staff favorites, and top grossing categories on the main page. And up here, you do have your little advertisements. Um, there is two advertisements I want to show you guys real quick. Number one, uh, there is iLife 11, as you guys can see right here. You can actually get your iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand applications straight on the Mac App Store for $15 each, which is a great deal if you only want one of the applications, two of them, instead of paying the full iLife price. Uh, also, uh, you'll see that there is the iWork ad right here for pages, keynote, and numbers, and these are $19.99 each. So once again, you can save some money this way. You don't have to buy all three at once uh, for a steeper price, just 20 bucks for each. Uh, next up, you do have the top charts category of the Mac App Store where you will see larger views of the top paid, top free, and top grossing applications. You have the categories category <laughs> uh, with business, developer tools, education, entertainment, graphics and designs, photography, social networking, music, video, and more. So let's go ahead and just click on to, I guess, video right here. And it looks like iMovie is top paid right now. This actually looks pretty cool. Uh, you do have video apps. I guess these are just some featured ones up here. You have all video apps. Uh, you have top grossing, top free. It looks like there's only two free at the moment. That's kind of strange. Uh, and then we do have the top paid. And then finally, we have the purchases tab up here. I've so far downloaded Angry Birds, which was $5, and Twitter, which was a free download. And actually the last tab up here is updates and looks like all apps are up to date. On launch day, January 6, 2011, there is so far over a thousand different applications to choose from and I'm sure it'll grow um, in the months and years. Now before I end this video, I do want to go ahead and show you guys the two applications I have downloaded so far. Uh, first off, we have the Twitter client. This is the official Twitter client, um, which you guys see right here. And what you guys are probably looking forward to seeing is the Angry Birds for Mac application. Um, and this runs pretty smoothly on my 13-inch Mac, and I'm sure it'll run a lot faster and smoother on, for example, a 27-inch iMac. Uh, but here we go, guys. Angry Birds for Mac. I'll turn up the volume so you guys can hear, um, and let's go ahead and jump into a level. And so there we go guys, that was my quick demo of the new Mac App Store and a quick look at Angry Birds for Mac. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching.